There's a revolution of hardware that's coming our way, and we're going to be able to use physical things that we design ourselves, program ourselves, and build ourselves to change our world more than we ever have before. And those of us who really value creativity, and our students as well, we're going to be much better off, I think, than those of us who don't value creativity. The tools that are catalyzing this revolution are things like microcontrollers, such as Arduinos, general electronics, laser cutters, 3D printers. We're using tools like these within our robotics department and our design tech department to let our students build things that completely amaze me. And the accessibility of these tools is becoming more and more open for our students. And this is going to allow our students to not just be consumers, uh, they can be creators. All of us can be creators. I've seen students build robots that film sporting events, that breathe fire, that play real life musical instruments. And all of these creations were student designed, student built, and also built with school equipment and then controlled by affordable microcontrollers that didn't even exist. 10 years ago. Another example is a, uh, this bow tie here is a 3D printed by a friend of mine and then we put a backing on it to make it uh, electroluminescent and lit. And this is the type of thing that you can't just buy anywhere. You have to build it yourself and it's a lot more fun that way. At ISM we value creativity quite highly. One sign of this is that we have clubs and classes that we take these tools and we get them into the hands of our students, we show them how to use them, and then we give them incentives to create amazing things. I think all schools should be doing this. One reason is that the cost of all these tools is dropping quite quickly. Some of these tools are even open source, which allows tons of people around the world to also take part in this movement. I think all of us want our schools to be havens create for creativity. It's probably in all of our schools' mission statements, but how many of our schools have a robotics program or have a design tech program? I think many of our schools around the world will allow our kids an opportunity to get their hands dirty playing sports, but can they get their hands dirty while building something, or while creating something that they design themselves? To be able to hold up a physical object and say, I created this, and I designed this, is a, it's a really cool feeling. And I think all of our schools should be trying to give that feeling to all of our students.